12th. Nobody else has caught a keeper fluke yet. And for me, that's fish number three. So I just officially limited it out by myself. It's cold out here. What's up everybody? Dark Sizzle here, putting behind the camera. Today we are coming at you from way up in Long Island. We just arrived in Montauk to go fishing today. I'm really excited with Elite Long Island Charters. We have fished with them two years ago and I caught a monster bass. Check that out if you haven't seen that video. But we are going to the boat today. Unfortunately, the tide is gonna be wrong for targeting stripers, the striped bass. So today we're gonna be bottom fishing for fluke and um, sea bass. So we're gonna see what happens. We gotta get to the boat now. If you're new to the channel, I'm Puddin. And from a technical aspect, it's a little rainy today, so uh, stand by us. I might have to use a GoPro a little bit for the, you know, for rains. Uh, so let's have a great time, Sizzle. I'm My ready. sister's here, Amy. It's gonna be awesome. What up, Sizzles? We made it. And Sizzle's sister-in-law. Yes. <laughs> How are you? What's up, guys? How's it going? Doing Florida, different sand. My hands are full. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi. Oh. Nice to meet you. That's Pete's brother. Okay, hi. We have arrived at the fishing spot, guys, and the weather conditions are not getting much better. Hold on, you have tons of rain drops all over your camera lens. We have arrived at the fishing spot, y'all. Conditions, unfortunately, are not getting much better out here, but we're gonna make do with what we got. So we are dropping to the bottom, and Amy is already fishing, so I need to get out there. Nice! That's a nice one. I'll take that. All right, check it out. We just landed a nice black sea bass, and we're just basically, what if we're using mackerel as bait. That's a solid one right there. I'm about to drop down and catch another one. So how do we rig up these baits? Just let it hang. That's it. Won't trip oh, use that again? Yep, okay. Until it's no longer gone, and we'll put a fresh piece on. And then when, when I drop it, just like let it sit on bottom? Yep, hold the bottom once in a while. Nice slow lift. Nice slow lift. Yep. Okay. It's going to feel like a thump. Okay. Sea bass is going to be that tap, tap, tap. I got something. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Okay, slow and steady reel. It's coming up. Catching a fish! Hooked up! That one felt like a nice fish, and they're saying it might be a fluke. I have no idea. But it's pulling pretty hard. Say it again. Okay. Just, just what? Don't, just under the surface. Okay. So nice and steady reel on this fluke so we don't lose them. And Chris just said to keep him under the surface. He's coming up. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Check that out. That's a keeper, right? Oh yeah. Whoa! I just caught my first keeper fluke. Heck yeah. Alright guys, check that out. Pretty fluke. I mean how like is that like an average size one? That's a nice one. Nice fluke, keeper. They're so cool looking. The fact that they don't have like any eyeballs on one side where they lay up on the sand. And then on this side, they got some nasty teeth too. You don't want to put your hands in his mouth. And on that side, you can see both eyes. So that is going to be some delicious fish tacos. Looking forward to trying some fluke. All right, I gotta get lines back out though. Catch another one, maybe one bigger. Thank goodness I have my foul weather gear, but my hands are on freezing. Put my hands in your face. <laughs> so cold. For this Florida girl. That looks like a nice fish. Coming up. See what Amy's got. Nice fish. I got one. Hooked up. I lost it. Amy just caught a nice sea bass and I just lost a fish. Nice. Hooked up. All right, yeah. Got something this time. It's coming up. Stop raining. 
Oh yeah, we are. Okay, just keep reeling. Ooh, ooh, whoa, that's a nice stud. Check that out. Nice one, look how beautiful, beautiful sea bass. Is that like considered a nice fish right there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Sea bass are from after dinner. Oh. So all females until they come down. Okay. It's like in the bubble okay. on their head and they turn blue. They turn blue and they get this big lump on their head. Interesting. All males, wow. So when so Chris was just saying initially that they, when black sea bass are young, they're all females, and then once they become over 18 inches, they all become males. And you can tell by the hump on their head, and they turn blue. So that was pretty cool to learn. Kind of like just like our snook in Florida, they're all female. Well, they're all males, and then some transform into males when they're mature. Just want to tell you all real quick about the rigs we're using today. Starting with the actual reel, this is an Akuma Classic, which you don't normally see me using down in Florida but works for up here and is paired with a Tsunami Sapphire Rod. And the actual rig we're using today is actually a single hook rig that you would call it. We're rigged up here with mono and then we've got a swivel to our rig. And our rig here is 60 pound mono. You can see it's about a total length of like, I don't know, two foot long. And then you can see we've got a dropper loop tied on right here. And we have our single hook rig attached. And this is an seven aught Mustad J-hook, I believe. You can see it's offset here. So that way you can hook the fish and then we're just using pieces of mackerel and I think that's a piece of squid as well. And you kind of just using a 10 pound weight today in 70 feet of water, which is trying to just make sure it stays down on the bottom here and um, just let, basically let down the line. And then once it hits the bottom, keep it on the bottom and every once in a while, just give it a lift off the bottom. And that's how, how I ended up catching a fluke and a sea bass. So we're gonna drop it down and see what we can catch. Got something. Got something. It's coming up. Yeah. Beauty. Awesome. We are loading up on a lot of fish in a short period of time, guys. So if you ever are in the Long Island area, you all need to come check out Elite Long Island Charters and slay some fish. I was like, as soon as I drop, fish on. We got a pair of bluefish in the boat. Yeah, bluefish. Hold on. She's got, got a bluefish. Another we one. got bluefish in the boat. Cocktail blues. Nice. I was doing it to check it. Really? I guess he was. Whoa, I got a nice fish now. Sorry, I'm like covering my face and like, it's cold. <laughs> you can pull it off if you want. All right. This hooks something real nice. Hopefully it's a nice keeper fluke. Feels like it's fighting different than a sea bass. So I just got real nice and steady, not really pumped the rod. And then when he comes up, I gotta do a good job and keep him in the water because they seem to pop off once you raise them up above the water line. So we're gonna see coming up though. We move spots and we're in about 80 feet of water now. I slide back up, back up. There you go. Yeah. Real one. Yeah, I got another keeper in the boat. Yes. And he's off just like that. Thanks. All right, Chris just said that was a nice fish. Heck yeah. Check that out. He's definitely bigger than the first one I caught. Nice one for me. Heck yeah. So now that's my first keeper fluke, fluke and my second keeper fluke in the boat. And this one is bigger than the first one. Like how, how many pounds do you think? Five? Four? Solid four and a half pounds. Solid four and a half pound fish right there. Beautiful fluke. Yeah. So excited to try them. See how they taste. All right. He's going in the live well with the rest of the keepers. Nice, nice. Oh, it's up. Oh, I got a sea bass or a robin. How many fluke are you allowed? What about fluke? Is it like one per person? 
Oh, okay. He's digging. Fish on, guys. Oh, yeah. Big old sea bass for me. It's probably the biggest one I've caught. Nice. They're just crushing fish out here. Nice. Beautiful. They're so pretty. They kind of really do remind me of peacock bass in a way, just with the hump right here and just even the shape of their bodies, but they're such a cool fish. Coming up, got another fish. Kind of just getting back, like bites back to back here. Had a couple sea bass, weren't really keepers. This feels like another sea bass though. Nice one. Loading up on fish. Captain John putting us on the fish today. All thanks to the captain. So like I said again, if you're ever in Montauk, check out Elite Long, Long Island Charters to slay some fish up here. Sweet. Feels like a sea bass though. We'll find out. Right. Oh, well, I don't know now. Woo! It's fighting. Yeah, no, it might be a fluke now. Another big old sea bass. Woo! Oh, he's fat. Yeah. That is a nice one. Coconut on that one. Yeah. Beauty. Got a nice fish on now. Got a nice fish on now. It's coming up. Is that a keeper? Yep. No way. <laughs> what? I just got the third keeper fluke on the boat. Another nice one. And um, yeah, no, it seems like nobody else, well, nobody else has caught a keeper fluke yet. And for me, that's fish number three. So I just officially limited it out by myself, which is pretty cool. Another nice beauty. Heck yeah. We made it back to the dock safely and we made it happen today even with the tough weather conditions that we had and believe it or not it's been beautiful out here every single day and the day that I show up to go fishing we have over we have overcast conditions and it was a little rough out there but Captain John made it happen so like I said if you're ever in the Long Island Montauk area please check out Elite Long Island Outfitters and go fishing with them on this beautiful boat that is fully rigged with everything that you're gonna need. And I caught my biggest striped bass with them and now my biggest fluke with them as well. So amazing day on the water. I'll link all their information down in the description below for you all to check out. Also special thanks to Chris and first mate Mike. We had an epic day on the water and I can't wait to come back and do it again. So thank you all so much for watching this adventure and until my next adventure, Follow your dream and keep on catching.